President Trump telling Fox News in a brand new interview he respects Russian President Vladimir Putin. That's not new. Here's what is new. The president acknowledges that Putin may be a killer, but adds, quote, we've got a lot of killers. Listen. Do you respect Putin? I do respect him. Do you? But Why? Well, I respect a lot of people, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get along with him. He's a leader of his country. Uh, I say it's better to get along with Russia than not. Will I get along with him? I have no idea. It's very He's a possible killer, I though. Won't. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. We've got a lot of killers. Why, well, you think our country's so innocent? With me on the phone, our chief national security correspondent, Jim Shuto. Also with us, CNN former Moscow bureau chief, Jill Doherty. Uh, Jim Shuto, where do I begin? This is seemingly the president of the United States standing up for Vladimir Putin. How do you read this? Listen, you know, the word unprecedented has been overused, right, uh, including in a CNN book. Uh, but this is unprecedented by a U.S. president speaking about his own country, that kind of moral relativism with not just a U.S. adversary, but, but an authoritarian state that, that, that is well-known, documented, uh, for, for enormous examples of mistreatment uh, of its own people uh, at home and abroad. Uh, you could certainly say unpresidential, at least if you're talking about being president of the United States to describe your country in, in that way. And, and let's listen, I, I've traveled a lot in countries like Russia, China, elsewhere, that will often use this moral relativism as a propaganda uh, talking point that, well, the U.S. has done just as bad as we have. Uh, listen, you and I know Poppy, Jill knows uh, the U.S. has made many mistakes, but, but the question is, uh, putting it on a par with an authoritarian state such as Russia mm -hmm. is, one, just not factually true, and two, uh, just a remarkable thing for an American president to say.